And that is ChatGPT running on the Altair 8800. This is probably what people in the 1970s imagined future computers would look like. You might be wondering how it's possible to run ChatGPT on the Altair. It's actually quite simple and the concept will serve as the foundation for a future Altair network that I'm currently planning and is in the inception phase. The basic idea involves an intermediary that handles requests from the Altair, making the necessary API calls and processing before returning the results back to the Altair in a format it can understand. This approach is necessary because the Altair lacks the processing power to handle modern network requests directly. The program running on the Altair is quite straightforward. It prompts the user for input and listens for keystrokes. Each keystroke is uh, displayed on the screen via serial port 1 and also sent to serial port 2 which is connected to a simple serial to ethernet device. When the return key is pressed, the program begins to listen for input from serial port 2 and displays the results on the screen through the port 1. And that is basically all it does. As a side note, I loaded this program into a compact flash drive using the same method described in the previous video about booting the Altair from an IDE drive. The serial to ethernet device uh, connects to a network using an ethernet cable and is assigned its own IP address. It can be set up to function as a client connected to another host that processes the, the uh, serial input and output. Essentially, that's the device's primary function. I'm utilizing the RS-232 converter by uh, PUSR, available on Amazon. I'll also provide a link uh, to a more compact version of this device, which is slightly less expensive but it offers the same functionality. The host uh, to which the serial device connects to performs the heavy lifting. Essentially, the host operates a simple program called SOCAD, uh, a relay utility. This program accepts connections from clients, enabling them to execute a script that manages input to and from the client. The script that is being executed listens for prompts and once a return is received, it sends an API request to OpenAI with the prompt and then responds back with the response received from the prompt. That's the basic idea, but it also does some conditioning to make it compatible with the Altair. My host is running on a Raspberry Pi that is connected to my network, but it can run anywhere desired. I'll include a link in the description for the assembly code used on the Altair, as well as the shell script executed by SoCat. The current code isn't 100% bug free and requires further refinements since it's a bit messy, but it is functional. Notice what happens when I press a key on a terminal. You can observe the activity on a serial device, as well as the log of data being received on the host and then returned back to the client. And that's essentially the setup. If you've been wondering how other Altairs manage to connect to the internet, this is how it's done. I'll apply the same concept to the future uh, Altair network, which I mentioned earlier, to execute all sorts of commands from the Altair. For example, we'll be able to read text from websites, send and receive messages uh, from other Altair users, or download files to the computer. All of this is coming soon, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do to avoid missing out. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, don't forget to like, and I'll see you in the next one.